Time for our weekly market monitor. Our guest this week has three small cap stocks in the apparel retail sector. Jay Kaplan is co-manager of the Royce Dividend Value Fund. Jay, good to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. You're welcome. And the first one is American Eagle. Now, this one has the combination of a high dividend yield, 3.6%, and the stock has been cut in half in the last year or so. You must love this for that reason. Well, as the contrarian that I am, I do love <laughs> stocks that have been cut in half, but it's also good when they have a good reason for the stock to go up. And let me tell you a little bit about why that is. They are the number one seller of women's jeans in America. They're the number two seller of jeans in total in the country. And there is a, there is a denim cycle and jeans are back in popularity again. So that's really good. But, but what's really exceptional is they have a brand called Airy. Airy sells intimate apparel to young ladies, say, ages 15 to 25, and it's a more authentic brand. Uh, it's regular people rather than supermodels of Victoria's Secret. Right. They're only in 23 states now, and it's going to be a nationwide business one day. Your second pick is Designer Brands, DSW Stores, um, and they're launching a new kids line. You know, they, they, they put kids throughout their whole chain. That's been really good. They've consolidated an acquisition that they did in Canada. That's also really good. But what's really interesting is an acquisition of the Camuto brands, which mm -hmm. will allow them to do their own private labels. And that should increase margins a lot. And you have a really big dividend there, too. So it's great. Yeah, that one's almost yielding 6% at this point. But here's one that's not. Uh, that's Calaris. This is a company that's been around since the 1880s in various incarnations. It's an apparel uh, retailer. Uh, another one where the stock has gone down, but it only yields one and a quarter percent right now. Well, it does right now because they spend a lot of their cash on buying women's brands. They're one of the leaders in women's brands with Naturalizer and Sam Edelman, for example. But they also own the, um, the famous footwear chain. And there's about to be a product cycle with brand new Nike product there. So that should be really good and really exciting and be really great for sales. So it sounds like you're really betting on the consumer. So the consumer is still strong in your book? The consumer is strong. You know, when we talk about the fear of recession, and by the way, there is no recession yet, uh, consumer spending is still okay, and the stocks have really uh, discounted a, a terrible outlook. And I don't think the outlook is quite that bad. And given the, the mandate of your fund, you're always looking for these dividend payers so that you're paid even if the stock's going down, right? We are looking for dividends. We, you know, we don't necessarily care if the dividends are large or small, but we want to see dividends, and we think that's a great indicator of what good management teams can do with free cash flow. Very good. Jay Kaplan with Royce Dividend Value Fund. Good to see you again, Jay. Thanks. Thanks again.